from time to time we sort of get caught up with our jobs. We have more groups coming in to serve. So what do I do? I give my friends at Siller a call. Tom is at the back there. I don't see Cassandra here. I'll give her a call and say, what else do you have for me? And they'll give me an address like 91 Roma. Why don't you go out and check that out? And that's where I met Rebecca. And uh, come on up, Rebecca. It's been great not only working with Rebecca, getting her back through some, a lot of the difficulties that she's come through, hasn't been an easy go for her, but she's also blessed us with a song, and she's going to share with us music this afternoon. First, I'd just like to say thank you, and it seems such a simple thing to say thank you. Everybody talks about returning home. But my experience with MDS was so much more than that, and I know that I'm not trying to belittle. <clears throat> but I had lost all hope. I gave up on my house. I settled in a rented home, and I gave up. I would drive past my house and think, well, isn't that a shame? And I became bitter. And when we're bitter and we have nobody to blame, sometimes we blame God. And I blamed God. But something happened. And I decided I didn't want to lose my house. I wanted to go home. Every time I put the key into my rented door, it wasn't my home. And so I called the Siller Foundation and I said, it has been such a long time. Is there any help available? It's been so long. And then I got a call from Martin. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> it's Martin. And wow, such a change in such a short period of time. And the people that I met helped bring me back home not just to 91 Roma, but back into the arms of God. No one preached at me. No one had to. Because the love of Christ shined out of every single person who walked into my home. Every nail that went into the wall, every screw, every stroke of the paintbrush, the love of God filled my home. And so I came home. And so this is the song I'd like to share because there was a point where I felt abandoned. And boy, was I proved wrong. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he, his I know he watches over me. Let not your heart be troubled. His tender words I hear and resting on his goodness I lose. All my doubts and all my fears, though by his path he leadeth, though just one step I may see, God's eye is on the sparrow, and I 
and I know he watches over me. Thank you.